When Edward was little, he saw on TV a black-and-white movie with Teddy McGee. With a tappity-tap and a -a rat-a-tat-tat, he saw Teddy dancing, and, well, that was that. From that day on, Edward dreamed of one thing. Not baseball, not race cars, not learning to sing, not being a painter and moving to France. Not Edward. All he wanted to do was tap dance. So late every night when the zoo was all closed, while the animals slept and the zookeeper dozed, when even the night owls nappity-napped, Edward tickety-ticked and he tappity-tapped. One evening, the animals all around the zoo were showing off all of the things they could do. The monkeys were climbing, the lions were roaring, The seals were all swimming, and the birds were all soaring. As Edward was dancing, he thought a big thought, a thought that he liked, and he liked it a lot. He put on his top hat, his tap shoes and pants, leapt out of his cage, and started to dance. You can't be a dancer, they shouted. You can't. You can't be a tap dancing elephant. A dancer is elegant, and more than that, A dancer is graceful and nimble, not fat. Poor Edward covered his face with his ears and tried not to hear all the catcalls and jeers. Was he really too fat? Could it be true? He snuffled and shuffled. Then he knew what to do. The very next day, when the zoo closed at five, Edward put on a most clever disguise. In a wig and a mustache and old floppy clothes, he walked out right under the zookeeper's nose. With a spring in his step, he walked into town, past buildings and people, up hills and back down. He walked till he looked at a sparkling marquee, the theater show of Teddy McGee. Edward stood by the door and he started to dance, but the people all yawned and laughed as they passed. But still he danced on as a crowd gathered round, calling him names and putting him down. You can't be a dancer, they said. Look at you. You're an elephant. Go back home to your zoo. Then a voice rang out. See that elephant prancer? Our show needs a new star. And he is the answer. Who had been talking? He looked round to see, and there at his side was Teddy McGee. Edward thundered a tappity-tap, and Teddy McGee rat-a-tat-tapped right back. A dancer's a dancer, said Teddy, no faking. And this pachyderm's dancing is great, no mistaking. I've been in show business for years, and I know hard work always pays. So, on with the show. Then they tapped for the people who'd laughed and who'd jeered, so they all started clapping, and oh, how they cheered. And Teddy said, if you think this is all right, buy a ticket and come to our new show tonight. Soon everyone knew him and shouted his name as he tappity tapped to fortune and fame. And when asked about being a world famous star, he says, how you look doesn't matter as much as who you are. Do you believe the miracles happen? Look at the crowd Cheering and clapping And do you believe, oh yeah That Edward has made it He's living his dream And no one can stop him Edward, the tap dancing elephant Edward, there's never been a better one Edward, the tap dancing elephant Do you believe 
sacrifice.